Hello YouTube, it's a lazy Saturday. It's noon and it's only like 75 degrees here, so we're going to take advantage of it. Please pardon the dryer if you can hear it running over at the house behind me. Okay, we're going to take advantage of how this tree grew to make a wood mall. And these marks right here, so this is flat right there. See that? Let me just right hit my knife about right in here somewhere. We're going to try to keep as much as we can. This can be pretty tough. It'll be tougher than a piece of wood. You know, these, these don't last long. This will just use like for one day. And like where the knot was is why I picked that in. Because I knew it would be a little bit tougher hitting it. We worked through the bark. But we didn't damage the wood too much. And this is maple. Some people call it silver maple, whatever. As it gets older, you'll have orange color in the bark. See the, see the beginning of it? Orange and silver. So I just call it a maple tree. What it is like. This thing's pretty big around. It's way too big around. You'll see the handle. But let's talk more work. Look for the pictures. Uh, we come back, it'll probably be done. Uh, we might throw a few clips in there, but we're going to try to round this off we can and find the best where we can cut this. We want it like a club on the end. Because like I said, we'll throw our flat spot to hit our blade with. And if we want to pound on something else, well, we got a big old club. So we're just going to use that and our back saws. And you've seen them in action before. So let's get to work. And we'll be back with either a quick tip or we'll be done okay we got this kind of mark we 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 want it so where we got the mark where it's kind of starting to get round but remember we're going to take a lot off this thing too so if you look down it we don't even really want to cut to the line right there because this is not perfectly round, and we want to make it kind of round. You know, we showed you it's got a big flat side. Think you know what I mean? Never cut off more than what you need to. I mean, like this. I probably could have just sawed the log off, but I'm trying to get as much as I can. There's where the two start growing. See the scar? We kind of want to keep both of these together. Because I think they're going to be pretty tough. Because where I pound at all the time is going to be like over here. I won't be pounding and get like this way. Move the 3D effect. I think you know what I mean. Stay tuned. We're going to get out our back saw and saw part of this off. And then we're going to go to our belt grinder. Big old Mr. Clunky, we call him. And we're going to do some rounding and see how round we can kind of make this. Stay tuned. Okay, can you hear the neighbor's stock car about a half block away? We thought we'd better show you some progress. We're squaring this up, okay? And we want to make like a baseball bat thing if it works. See how that granite can burn into that wood? That's all we're using is this. Our sanding disc. But we're getting it square. Now, I'm older than some people, maybe, that watch, but I hope there's some older people. Anybody remember Captain Caveman? It looks like a flashlight that he would carry. Remember, he was all covered. Didn't he pull stuff out of his... out of nowhere? He's all covered with fur. Come on, you can do it. Do the Captain Caveman yell. You always had that big wooden club. If you're older than me, you remember him. That's about two inches. About like that, what I like. And this is over two and a half. Here's that flat spot where that branch is where we're going to be hitting most of the time. See where I left some bark? Because it's actually flat there. And there might be a little bit of bark up there. We are going to take this to the sander a little bit and make it rounded. But we're stopping way ahead of that three quarter. We're stopping way into here. We're thinking about maybe going up here to the, with my camera case. You know what I mean? Going up here on the corner of the, let's just move that so we can show you. He's getting flustered. He got real cranky right on film. <laughs> you 
You know how some actors get, they get all prissy, and you know what I mean. I said prissy, P-R-I-S-S-Y. In case you was wondering what I said. You know, kind of make a curve there to curve up to it. But I think that's too much of a curve. I don't have a baseball bat to compare it to. See, we took off four sides. And then we'll do the stop sign time, times times eight. Yep, octagon. So then we'll do that, and we'll be real careful, because we don't want to get this too small. Right here, that's about comfortable. I measured that about two inches. Down here, it's too big. So we allowed some extra meat in case we messed up. Okay, we thought we'd show this. That way you see the pictures. It's like, what did this guy do? He didn't explain it. Well, there you go. I'm just kidding. You don't like what I'm doing, you can unsubscribe and leave. I hope nobody's ever done that. That's, I'd hate to see anybody act that way on a YouTube channel. If you don't like what, you just go away. No, you should listen to your public. What do you want to see? There, that fell just right. There you go, let's get back to work. And if it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. Because it is 78 degrees in here and it's 3 o'clock. So we passed the sun shining through. We'll even show you. See how it's dark over there? We don't, we don't have the sun beating in because that's directly south, okay? So you you know where about three the sun's going to be. Somewhere like that. Okay, back to work. No more chit-chat. Okay, it's the next day. So I have no idea what I videoed yesterday. This is the spot where I'll probably be hitting it. I left it kind of flat. That was where the branches... I don't know if you can see it now because it's dark where the branch was growing off it. I decided just to do this. Make this tapered because your hand's going to be about there or you can go way out here. If you go out way out here, see it won't slip out of your hand if you're really whomping. With small stuff for batoning, wood, I like to kind of balance the club in my hand because it don't take much to drive it on that knife or light stuff, so you can hold it up there. It's not perfectly round. I got some marks in there from cramming it in the vise, but that's just some of the oil, and then it set overnight. So there you go, a nice club. I know there's people who come in. That's a lot of work for a piece of stick, but the idea is to learn how to craft stuff and. I was amazed how that sanding disc did a lot of this tapering. And then I took my quarter sheet sand and actually sanded this smooth, you know, along here with 80 grit. And he removed a lot of wood. This wood does sand pretty easy. It's not perfectly round. This is probably two and a half to three quarters diameter. This is right around two. And then this ups a little bit. So there you go. I hope you like this one. Uh, look at the pictures and I'll show you how uh, some of it was made with the tools I used. So you could probably do this yourself with just basic tools like I did. You don't need a lathe to make a wooden club. There you go. Somebody's tearing around on a Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching. We're gone.